got an egg on a stick. Yeah. Cooking the egg on a stick is a totally different one. Okay. I'm attempting to cook an egg on a stick. This is something that my father has requested that I do every time I go camping, and I've rudely said no every time, but this time I'm giving it a shot. So I've got my stick, I'm going to whittle it down to a nice little fine point and uh, hopefully be able to get an egg, get it through an egg. Okay, so now the tricky part that with my dad was not very specific is how do you get the stick into the egg? And so, of course, I went on YouTube and searched a couple things, and I saw one where it's kind of like blowing the egg out. You know, hole in it and then another little hole in it and then feed said stick through the egg um, to actually cook it. So we're going to give that a shot and see if I can actually get that to work. Just kind of, this is not a very smart idea here. Now let's see how well I can get the stick through. Oh, that works. I'm through on the other side. All right, now we're gonna cook this bad boy. <laughs> Instead of... So, experiment number one did not work. Experiment number one failed. I guess this is kind of like a myth. But look, it's, it's kind of got some creamy goodness in there. Okay, <clears throat> cooking an egg on a stick, take two. First experiment which cracked and went all over the place. I learned that you don't have to poke the second hole in because the, the stick was strong enough to poke it through. So I'm just gonna do one hole this time and just poke it through the other side. turn this egg around because my holes are too big. See, I spin the stick and just the egg just stays put. Whoa. Oh, there we go. Oh! Alright, just let that cook for a little bit. Time for a coffee break. Option two is not to use the stick. There you have it, a delicious egg to eat after roasting it on a stick. We'll, uh, we'll see what it tastes like here in a minute. But onward to egg number three. I think we can learn a few things. All right, so the, the one thing we have discovered is the stick you're using gets this wonderful coated yolkiness with it. I'm going to wait till after the third egg before I actually just lick that off the stick. I think it adds more flavor to each successive egg. Yeah, I think I gotta go through. Okay. Oh, oh, that was actually pretty good. I felt so surprised. <laughs> oh, and look, my egg spins. The well, stick just broke off. It, so mm -hmm. I doubt any of you. See, it's made for egg. Oh, okay, I got you. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> Like a rotisserie. Okay. All right, we'll let our eggs cool down here a little bit so we could uh, easily crack them and eat them. If there's anything left in there. Oh, look, look at that awesomeness inside there. I'm not sure what that big black spot is. I think that's charred wood. Mmm, <laughs> awesomeness. Alright, I'll try this one. I'm going to attempt to try to crack the shell off this one and keep my little corn cob stick that I can just eat off of. <laughs> the egg's kind of shrunken in there.
one seems to have fared better. Yeah, this one's... Oh, look at that, right there. I'll just be able to... Pick that one right off the stick. Well, I'll be. You can cook an egg on a stick. I'm not sure you'd want to.